Sandy Storm Spirit was hands down. We knew that was going to happen. Like, there was no question in anyone's mind about what was going to happen. Who has to make sure he does not die? Now, Sunido. FNG's coming in. He actually leveled up his blast to start with. The paralyzing cast will bounce around here, but Sunido, he got the shield up, but FNG and Funnic, they both leap in. It was a semi body block and the slow. And there's Vanscore picking up the first blood. Able to attack up the hill into the kill. And then the follow ups under J4. They need a little bit more damage, and they've almost got it. The one more range attack from Vanscore will do it. But FNG came too close towards the tower in range of the battery. Now Vanscore being stunned up. There's the disruption. He evaded the Crypt Swarm. Then he will come in to help Moth with a quick charge. Funny again. That's his third leap and slow into Shash Slow with 30 seconds in. And Navi and PR have taken the gloves off. Funny though, maybe too soon he's taking these gloves off. He doesn't have a lot of life points. He might have to move. He's actually got to go back to base. His heroes, which are really good at rotations like this. Vans going towards middle lane. Just a disruption. This will buy time to get the static remnant in place. And then a vortex back on Shashlo. But then again, Dendi, he saved the mana for it. Looking for some more extra stacks. Funny. He's holding for. He waited a long time for that one. Sunido's going to be dragged back in. He's got shield as well as his extra heal if he wants to. The bouncing cast is going to bounce between the two heroes. They managed to split themselves up nicely though, Navi. And Sunido, there's a leap of verbal here from Funnick. He'll leap himself up, but Sunido will go down. And they're going to go into J4 as well. Denny, he doesn't have mana because he doesn't... I mean, he can't do another jump. But he's trying to get close enough for the damage output. And Shadow Demon, well, he'll rotate himself in. Now they can go for a kill and a perfect surround on Charge Slow. And right now, well... He'll do it up on the top lane. Cause there, he, he had to push it to the tier two tower. Now, Yule Scepter, a Macro Pyre, Ice Path, Ice Path, a little bit too late. He didn't get the combo 100% right. Senior has still managed to pull him out with the shield. And the Viper will escape from the attack. There was no Chrono from the Faceless Void, but now Navi are bringing everybody up. Dendi and FNG, the whole five heroes are rotating up, and Sunido will probably be the primary target. And in fact, he is. They just jump him because he's the man that can, that can cause problems during the team fights. The one that turns the stuns off when you cast him. Most bat riders these days will be able to finish that up before the 10 minute mark because you go to the jungle. Now, a boss in the bottom lane. Well, you'll throw everything he's got right now. You'll set her up and towards the air, buying some time free. Oh, nice disruption from Vanscore. Didn't save him the Crypt Swarm damage, but allow a force one last Liquid Fire. Liquid Fire is such a pain in the ass. It's forcing Power Rangers to react. And the Blink Dagger is now up, but a Yule Scepter. It'll evade the initial attack. Cheshire Cat will jump in. They look for the stun, but FNG already used it over on the Viper. The SC Disruption will be there for a Vorse to try and break free. The Macro Pyre is down at the moment. A Vorse dies to Crypt Swarm on Danny, diving in under for the Death Prophet. <laughs> the Wish Doctor trying to stay on top of him. Denny, one last jump. That's all the mana he had left. He took a two more bottle charge up his sleeve. And he will be able to buy himself some space here. Vance though, the poison attack. Oh, dead in his tracks. The Viper will be the bounce on flying around. He couldn't actually get his pick off over on Funnick, who's teeping himself out. They'll leave FNG to die. He gives up a multicast over on the Abaddon, but then Vance will also pop. Because he saw him, he wasn't moving, he was standing in one position, that's an obvious bait time. Now Dendi, they go the last two, it's on FNG, but the SC Destruction, the Yule Scepter up, Cheshire gonna be driving back and funning, a big, big chrono for him, even the sun over on the Abaddon, making sure there's no easy shield, he'll get it off at the end of the day, so J4 will survive, but Dendi, he's deep inside the base, taking a lot of damage, down to 33 life points, of being Viper striked up, the main charge to trigger, of all still alive, that dumped that multicast from FNG, buying a little bit more space, it is still the Batrider going down for now the Aegis Immortal from Dendi. The Ice Bar trying to catch a little bit more space here. The reason why they backed out, so they can really go for a fight. Now, into the Firefly, they're expecting someone low, but it was actually the Ogre Magi moving into the mid lane. Vanscore's close by, and there's Blink Lasso. They're gonna bring him down very, very quickly. A boss is here, the Ice Pot catches two heroes with the Magrify burning through the Abaddon. He's still got his ulti available, but he shields up the Death Ward, pushing a boss back, but now the Chrono from Funnick. It stops the Death Ward, Cheshire Cash, he walks himself back into the Chronosphere. It's a one for one trade off, then he's up towards the high ground. He's got three heroes on his tail, and now, two of them being slowed up. Funnick try and beat into them. They've got at least the Ignite multicast, and then he turns his way into J4. This is over. They'll probably be called GG after this fight. They're losing too many heroes. It had to be 5v. It had to be 5 for 0 And right now, it's 4 for 1. About to be a final hit. The shield will protect, and then he's got no more mana to jump at the moment. Funnick will have to wait another 6 seconds. And in fact, then they just they charge him up. Dandy, he's close enough for the attack, and there it is. All five heroes from Power Rangers will go down. This tier one tower. It's only be the second one they can claim, and even now, Funnick just triggers Chrono. Whole charge low position. FNG did TP himself in here, and now he's looking for the stun. Multicast three times over with the urn charge as well. The Yule Scepter will send him up, 
That will actually negate a lot of that damage, but in comes Dendi. The Orc is available, he triggers over on, the, over on the Witch Doctor, while the SD disrupts over on a different target. And there's a Sunido. A double multicast on Dendi, he's triggered the regeneration rune, leaves himself straight over. He wants this regeneration rune to keep going, that's why he jumps so far. Now the Exorcism up from Sharshlow, for Force and FNG, the bouncing cast, making it difficult to escape. And now in comes the, uh, in comes Dendi again. They'll lose a Force, but he'll get a triple Ice Path at the end of it. And now Danny still wants to keep battling it out. He triggers the Orchid over on Cheshire Cat. Another quick jump. He's out of mana, however. He does still have this gem, the lasso. Cheshire Cat, he's one in away from death. Danny just needs to get one attack over. The blast wasn't enough. The LOA keeps him in. They have to get to Roshan, and they have to get to him fast. Like, really, 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 really fast. So they come down the hill. Roshan's still not done yet. Funnick, he's got Chrono available. And now Cheshire Cat, perfect vision. They Chrono, and they found Cheshire Cat, but Funnick and FNG, what are they doing? They're locked in the tree line. It's a perfect position right now for Power Range, but they've lost their Witch Doctor outside the pit. Funnick and FNG finally get through because the Firefly actually helped them out of here, but then again, where are they going? The Flame Break caused them all sorts of troubles. Funnick, he's still not sure where to leap over. Well, maybe over towards the front of the Roche pit. Denny, battling it out. He does not have the Ego to the Immortal. They've never finished Roshan. He doesn't have enough mana to jump up. He'll actually go down right now. Power Rangers, they took the fight they needed to. Venscore, he could go balls deep to jump in on that one, but the Aegis goes away. Screw support, Adam, screw four staffs. <laughs> Hearts fully finished over. Oh, wow, 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 Cheshire Cat. The Yule Scepter, it really bought a lot of space to the Chrono. It's three heroes for Funnick with the Macropire. That's where it's all over. Havorst with a double kill. They'll chase down now over into the Viper. The Abaddon, he'll also take a fall. The Borrow Time able to be worked through. Then Mordekar's times it by three. The Agency Mortar will be triggered, but the Navi Life is perfectly buffed up. And Funnick, that was a huge ultimate from him. It bought the space for a horse to his work. Into the wind. Speaking of which, missed that one. Vine being initiated on and the Witch Doctor. Chrono was triggered for that one, as well as the Macro Pyre, but both are not a problem for Navi. Dud. Wow. Okay, Dendi. Long jump up. Sino blinks himself in. Just went for the shield, but the Ice Path weren't allowed a fat ride to escape. And two heroes being picked off will turn into four heroes being picked off. The Abaddon will go down and GG well played. Smart play from both sides. Quality decision making and now Navi one game up here in the best of five. The battle will continue in a moment's time so stay tuned to the live stream. We'll be back for game number two. Because this is the full best of five for the D2CL European division. Winners bracket.